Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, we're going to be covering a brand new stock on the channel. The company name is Kits Eye Care Limited, and as the name implies, they operate a digital eye care platform here in North America. So specializing in contact lenses, sunglasses, glasses, that type of thing. I'm super excited about this company moving into 2022, and they're actually coming out with their Q4 and fiscal year end results next week. So I thought it was perfect time to get these guys on your radar, talk about their business model, and look into this company in a little bit more detail. Now before we do, please take a second, hit the like button you guys, it's a huge help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to do so. And let me know in the comment section below if you've heard of Kits Eye Care before, if you're currently holding shares, and how you think they stack up to some of the other players in this space. Now I personally respond to each and every comment, so this is a great way to get in touch with me, and I'd love to hear from you. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Kits Eye Care Limited, trades under the ticker symbol Kits or K-I-T-S on the Toronto Stock Exchange. You can see this is as of close on Wednesday, March 2nd. They were up four cents on the day or about one and a half percent to close out at $2.63 Canadian. And if we actually pull up a six month chart on Kits Eye Care, you can see this was a company that was actually trading above $4.60 back in September of last year. They took a major downtrend and they actually bottomed out in the $2.40 range back in November of last year. And they've been trading relatively flat for the last few months. And that's exactly why I referenced this as a cheap stock to take a look at or add onto your watch list because they really have shown a lot of growth over the last few quarters that's not being reflected into the stock price or the company market cap at this point in time. Now in terms of market cap, you can see under $100 million Canadian. So this really is a penny stock in every sense of the word in terms of their market cap and their share price here, you guys. And if we look at the more recent share price action, you can see in February here, nearing in on $3 per share. And they've now pulled back closer to that strong support we've seen right around $2.40 or $2.50 Canadian. Now with that being said, in terms of video format here, we're gonna take a look at the corporate overview. First and foremost, for those of you who are maybe unfamiliar with this company, we're gonna talk about the upcoming Q4 results. Then we're gonna jump over to the company website, take a look at some of the different product categories and product offerings that they actually have. Then we'll shift gears, move into the investor presentation, take a look at some of the financials year to date, and then close out the video with some of the company's operational milestones or highlights. Now, before we get into all that, again, for those of you who maybe aren't super familiar with this company or the eye care space in general, Kits is a rapidly growing digital eye care platform providing eyewear for eyes everywhere. We offer customer access to a vast selection of contact lenses and eyeglasses, which we're gonna talk about in today's presentation, including their own exclusive in-house brand of Kits Design products, as well as a robust suite of online visual tools. Our efficient digital platform backed by our industry leading manufacturing and designs removes intermediaries and enables us to offer great prices and deliver made to order personalized products with incredible care and accuracy. We are creating disruption in the industry by constantly pursuing cutting edge technologies to enable the best customer experience, including online eyewear fitting tools, virtual try on for glasses and an integrated online vision test. We strive to delight our customers with our competitive prices, a convenient digital shopping experience, fast and reliable delivery options, a lot of times within 48 hours, and an unrelenting focus on earning our customers lifelong trust. And again, that starts to bleed into repeat orders and recurring revenue, which we're gonna to touch on a little bit later in today's presentation. Okay, so this is the big news I mentioned in the intro here, you guys. As it reads, Kit Eye Care to announce fourth quarter and fiscal year 2021 financial results 
on March 9th. So that's going to be Wednesday of next week. And I expect this to be a fairly big development for Kits Eye Care. We're going to talk about some of the Q3 results later in the investor presentation. Look at the growth trajectory, some of the gross margins, the number of orders or pairs of glasses that have been shipped. But this is definitely a date to keep in mind. And again, this is why I wanted to get this video out in advance. So you can get this one on your watch list in anticipation of year end or Q4 results. Now, if we jump over to the company website, you can see this is the landing page here. So you can browse through a selection of different offerings, whether it's contacts, glasses, sunglasses, or various different offerings that the company has, including kids selection, outdoor and designer slash sportswear. And if we actually look at the landing page itself, you see welcome to kits. We are confident that you won't find a better choice, convenience or value anywhere else. So again, really playing on that value proposition and the comfort and ease of ordering glasses or eyewear from your own home. Our leadership team has over 70 years of combined experience providing contact lenses to tens of millions of customers in North America. We use that experience to build kits, the world's best eye care company for customers. Now in terms of the business model itself, if you scroll down slightly on this page, you can see how the ordering actually works. So ordering discount contact lenses from kit.ca, our philosophy is simple. We believe in keeping prices low and shipping for free. All eligible orders over $129 will ship free within Canada or the United States. So again, you can save money by leveraging the world's leading and fastest growing contact lens company on the internet. And a stat that I thought was super interesting here, since 2004, they've actually shipped over 50 million contact lenses. So again, really speaks to the leadership team's ability to deliver on their promise and customer's appetite to return and repeat purchase from this company. Now, the other thing that's great to see, especially for any of these online or digital platform type of companies, orders are guaranteed to be 100% accurate and free of defects, and kits will actually replace or reship any orders at no charge to the customer. And in the case of contact lenses, they will actually be shipped directly from the manufacturer in their factory sealed package. They then store them at optimal temperatures in ideal environment, and their contact supply is frequently replenished. So as someone who used to wear contact lenses, comfort is paramount here. These things do dry out. They do get a little bit old sometimes. So you definitely want a company that's constantly moving inventory. On the glasses side of things or the eyeglasses, again, 100% satisfaction guaranteed. And you can rest assured that any of the designer frames you order are gonna be 100% authentic. So to really summarize this landing page here, you guys, Comfort, security, and consistency are really the words that come to mind as someone looking at a potential purchase from kits. And if we actually jump into some of the various different product categories, so contact lenses, for example, because that's what we were just talking about, you can see they offer some of the biggest brands in the world, so AccuView, Bosch & Loam, Cooper Vision. And if you actually click in on one of these brands, you can see the products offered are quite robust. They've got very competitive pricing, very user-friendly interface, and easy purchase and buy flow. And the other thing I'll point out here is actually their auto ship option, which allows consumers to subscribe and actually get a discount on their contacts or glasses by making repeat purchases so they don't have to actually think about or potentially risk missing a delivery of their contact lenses. So now that we've actually taken a look at the company website, we've looked at the stock chart here, I wanted to jump over to the investor presentation. As you can see, this one came out just after Q3, so it really highlights some of the Q3 earnings and sets us up nicely knowing that Q4 is coming out next week. Now the first thing I wanted to take a look at is actually the company overview here. So it's broken out into six key pillars. Number one, Kits focused on building an eye care brand for the consumers of today. Again, using that digital model and the comfort of your own home technology. Secondly here, intersection of healthcare and technology. So harnessing some of these best in class user platforms or user interfaces to really enhance the buying experience. The third point, large subscription and recurring revenue business. So I just mentioned that on the previous page, but you can actually subscribe or sign up for repeat purchases, which as a business is phenomenal because you're guaranteed that monthly or recurring revenue stream. The fourth point here is really about their vertically integrated state-of-the-art optical lab, which has a capacity of 4,000 glasses per day. More on that to come later in the presentation. Fifth point, over 640,000 active customers. 
So an absolutely massive and growing customer base, again, that we're gonna look at quarter over quarter results in a couple of slides here. And the sixth and final point really talks about customer satisfaction. So NPS focus or net promoter score, which is really a measure of how satisfied their customer base is and largest review count in the category. So a ton of people have actually gone in, left reviews about the products, about the service, and very well regarded or well reviewed company in the eye care space. Now, as the title of this video implies, this is a high growth company. So this slide here really gives some details around the transactions and specifically the acceleration in transactions that Kits is starting to see. So 112,000 glasses were delivered year to date. Again, this is as of Q3. So the first nine months of the year, which represents a year over year increase of 522%. So that's exactly why I use the term high growth. 90% of glasses were actually kit branded glasses. So margins on the in-house brand or kit brand are much better and much more favorable to the company. 20% of glasses orders were actually to returning customers. So again, that customer satisfaction, the net promoter score, you're seeing people return time and time again for multiple purchases. 80% of glasses were actually shipped within 48 hours directly from their lab. So extremely quick turnaround. And again, one of the leading factors in terms of customer satisfaction. And the fifth point here talks about digital progressives being fulfilled through their in-house surfacing capabilities. So again, future forward here, technology first. Again, the intersection between healthcare and technology in practice. So now I wanted to shift gears a little bit and really focus in on some of the numbers and the metrics behind Kits Eye Care. This is feedback I've heard from subscribers loud and clear in some of my prior videos. You guys really want to dig into the numbers in a meaningful way in these presentations. So we're gonna spend a couple of slides actually going through year to date and Q3 results. So some of the high level numbers here, you guys, $62.1 million in revenue, which is up 13% compared to the first three quarters of last year and 157% compared to the first three quarters of F19. So really another example of that growth that we talked about on the prior slide. 30% more orders have been delivered this year compared to the first three quarters of last year. So 30% year over year order growth. In terms of the contact lens division specifically, 71% retention of contact lens revenue from returning customers. So again, speaking to that recurring revenue and customers coming back time and time again, 522% increase on glasses delivered year over year, which equates to just over 112,000 pairs of glasses year to date. $21 average customer acquisition cost as of Q3 of 2021. So very low cost to actually acquire new customers and in excess of 640,000 active customers. Again, up 41% compared to Q3 of fiscal 20 or 87% compared to Q3 of fiscal 19. So very impressive growth numbers across the board, whether you're talking subscribers, revenue, customer retention, or the actual number of units or glasses being delivered. So continuing on here with some third quarter customer metrics, you can see active customers F19 versus F20 versus F21. So major increases there getting us to 640,000 active customers, which we just referenced on the last slide. Average revenue per customer over the last 12 months. So LTM here means last 12 months. This is contact lenses and glasses combined. So you can see this is down slightly year over year from $262 to 260, but again, given the pandemic situation here and the fact that a lot of people actually lost their jobs, were without employment or didn't have benefit coverage, I think that really is quite impressive. And then average revenue per customer, again, last 12 months for all customers is sitting at $184 compared to 207 in fiscal 20 and 219 in fiscal 19. And there's actually a footnote here which reads, the $184 figure actually represents a shift in the mix of products that they're focusing on. So shifting more towards glasses versus contact lenses due to initial promotional activities 
on the glasses, they actually have a lower average order value than contact lens orders traditionally do. So this is intentional. The company is shifting their product mix. They're incentivizing people to try out the glasses. They're giving discounts. And that's why you're actually seeing that average revenue per customer go down year over year. But again, this is intentional and the company is aware of this and what's driving that decline they've actually seen. Now, this is where it gets really exciting for me. So these are the top line revenue numbers here. You can see they lay this out in two different ways. So you can look at just Q3 over the last couple of years, or you can actually look at year to date numbers again over the last three fiscals. So if we're looking at Q3 specifically in F19 came in at $12.1 million. F20 Q3 jumped up to just over $20 million and Q3 of this year came in just below $21 million. So if you actually look at a two year compound annual growth rate, you're looking at about 29% in Q3 of F21 compared to F19. Now year to date revenue you can see came in just shy of $66 million. On a currency adjusted basis, you're looking at 62.1 million. That compares to 55 million year to date in F20 and only 24.4 million in the first three quarters of fiscal 19. So huge growth here, you guys. Again, you can see two year growth in excess of 170%, which is absolutely phenomenal. And again, a real testament to the vision and the strategy of the leadership team. And obviously if revenue is growing, you would expect the actual number of orders being delivered to grow as well. And that's exactly what we've seen. So again, looking just at Q3, F19, we're at 81,000 deliveries, up to 141,000 deliveries in F20, up to 151,000 deliveries in Q3 of this year. So 7% growth over fiscal 20 and 86% growth over fiscal 19. And if we're looking at the nine month period, so year to date here, you can see growth from 163,000 deliveries in F19 to 371,000 in F20, all the way up to 484,000 deliveries in the first three quarters of fiscal 21. And again, a footnote here really explains why they're seeing that growth. That's a result of increased investment in Q2 in acquiring customers through upper funnel marketing, which in turn is gonna result in more repeat orders down the road for Kits Eye Care. Now, with that being said, those introductory offers or that increased marketing activity did have a slight impact on gross margins. So they specifically call that out here in the Q3 highlights. Gross margin decline earlier in 2021 was driven by introductory offers engineered to attract new customers to join our subscription auto ship program and purchase glasses. So you can see gross margin declined slightly year over year, 29% gross margin in fiscal 20 Q3 compared to 26% gross margin in Q3 of this fiscal year. But if we're looking at quarter over quarter, you can actually see us jump up from 22% gross margin in Q2. That's really when a lot of that heavy advertising and incentivizing was going on, rebounding to 26% gross margin in Q3. Again, very healthy gross margins for a high growth business like this. And good to see that there's a tangible reason for that decline we saw in Q2. And that's a very similar story to what we see with quarterly EBITDA here. So in Q1, there was a lot of 2.6 million. Q2 was a loss of 3.3 million in terms of adjusted EBITDA. And in Q3 of fiscal 21, we're actually seeing an adjusted EBITDA loss of $1.0 million. And again, this is to be expected of a high growth business like this, especially when they're investing heavily in marketing, building that brand and investing in the actual platform or spending on CapEx or capital expenditures. And if you look down here into the details in terms of percentage of revenue, you can actually see marketing took about 20% of all revenue in Q2. That's dropped now to about 14% in Q3. General and administrative expenses represented about 12% of revenue in Q2, and that's now been cut in half to 6% of revenue in Q3. So again, very bullish indicators in my mind that they're controlling their costs and they're investing in a calculated way in terms of their marketing activity. So now that we've looked at the numbers in depth here for Kits Eye Care, I wanted to quickly talk about some of the operations and growth milestones within this organization. So again, five key components here, you guys. Number one, they've now completed their move to their state-of-the-art optical lab and fulfillment center. So again, that's really driving some of those increased deliveries that we've talked about throughout the presentation. 
Secondly, they've now expanded their manufacturing lines with that 4,000 pairs per day capacity and launched their surfacing and coating for progressives in-house. So we mentioned both of those bullet points a couple of slides ago. And that's honestly pretty impressive if you think about it. 4,000 pairs of glasses per day is massive capacity, especially considering these are custom built for the individual user. The third point really talks about their DTC fulfillment model or direct to consumer fulfillment model, which allows them to produce and ship over 80% of their glasses in under 48 hours. So again, people who are purchasing these products want them immediately. That's a big part of the customer satisfaction score or the likelihood to recommend. And it's great to see that Kits has really made that a focal point in their business operations. Fourth point here, so in Q3, they launched three additional collections of eyewear called Little Italy, South Beach, and Kids Kids. Again, the kids we referenced on that initial landing page intro. And as a result of these new lines, they now offer over 600 styles of eyeglasses. So a great selection or assortment here for consumers. And the fifth and final point, they've now launched their digital progressives at a category leading price of $68 US. And if you aren't familiar with contact lenses, traditional progressive lenses are produced using a pre-molded template and the same design is used for each and every customer, whereas digital progressives are customized for each wearer's prescription. So think of custom made contacts, that's what they're meaning when they talk about digital progressives. And again, $68 US is a very competitive price point for this type of product. So with that being said, you guys, I definitely like what I'm seeing here with Kits Eye Care. Again, I'm very bullish on the healthcare sector overall, especially with the aging population. But the nice thing with eyewear, glasses, contact lenses, is these really appeal to all ages and all different types of demographics. Again, I love the at-home delivery model here, the direct-to-consumer, and the variety or amount of selection that this company really offers in the eyewear space. Again, they've got their Q4 results coming out next week, so this is definitely one to keep an eye on. Throw it on your watch list. Let me know what you think, if you've heard of Kits Eyewear before, if you're currently holding shares, and how you think this company stacks up to some of the other healthcare plays we've talked about on the channel. I personally respond to each and every comment, so this is a great way to get a hold of me and really share your opinion with the community. If you're still watching the video at this point, hopefully you've found some value. So make sure you hit the like button on your way out. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, McNally Money, feel free to do so. That's all for now. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.